Welcome back friends. As you've seen in previous videos, I've been working on the Altair 8800 computer. The most recent update involved installing a serial board and connecting it to a terminal. There are still quite a few Altair related videos on the way, but today I want to share something new with you. As many of you know, the Altair 8800 sparked the personal computer revolution. Sold as a self-assembly kit for hobbyists, it wasn't, however, the first of its kind. That distinction goes to the Mark 8 mini computer designed by John Titus a few years earlier. The Mark 8 was featured on the cover of Radio Electronics Magazine in July 1974. The issue included the first few pages about the computer and assembly instructions. Those interested in building the kit had to order the complete instructions for $5, plus postage. A full set of boards was also available for an additional $47.50. What if somebody was interested in building this kit nowadays, 50 years after the initial release? While the instructions are still readily available online, acquiring the original boards will be tricky. Moreover, finding certain components for the computer can also be challenging since they are no longer manufactured. The good news is that the schematics for the boards are still available online. Uh, the bad news is that the schematics contain a few errors and issues and the instructions are a bit uh, ambiguous. The great thing about these vintage computers is that they typically have active communities with hobbyists who are willing to share their findings, improvements and additions to those computers. My goal in this series is to attempt to build the Mark 8 mini computer by utilizing the original instructions and as many original components as possible. Since finding original boards is near impossible, I'll either design my own based on the schematics or use uh, boards created by fellow hobbyists. Fortunately, there are hobbyists in the Mark 8 community that have built modern versions of the original boards. I have here one such set of boards designed by Hank Verbeek. These boards have had the mistakes and errors corrected which were present in the original boards. I will post a link in the description to these boards if you're interested in purchasing a set. The kit includes a backplane similar to the Altair 8800, RAM board, a CPU board, status output board with LEDs as indicators, output ports board, input multiplexer board, and an address latch board. The original instructions also specify a power supply capable of delivering a positive 5 volts and negative 9 volts. One could have purchased such a power supply from a supplier back in the day, but those are no longer commercially available. Consequently, we'll have to find an alternative solution. Additionally, it will be preferable to have this computer in some sort of case to protect it. To my knowledge, the original kit didn't include a case, leading hobbyists to craft their own solutions. There are a few variants of cases available online that one could 3D print if desired, However, I've envisioned a different approach for our project, which I'm excited to reveal in an upcoming video. The initial step was to acquire a complete set of boards and meticulously gather all the necessary components. This preemptive approach ensured that I had every required piece of in hand uh, before commencing the build. I didn't want to end up like that proverbial worker who decided to build a tower guy halfway up only to realize that he did not have sufficient resources to complete it. I began by focusing on sourcing the most elusive components, such as the Intel 8008 microprocessor, at least the 81101 RAM chips, an 8263 multiplexer, and an 8267 multiplexer. I managed to locate these ICs on eBay. 
the 8267 proved challenging to find, but I secured the 8266, a similar variant, lacking a bare collector output. We shall see if it will work for us. Notably, both the 8008 microprocessor and the 1101 uh, RAM chips were on the expensive side, unfortunately. With all the components ready, we're set to start constructing the Mark 8 mini computer. Stay tuned for upcoming videos, beginning with the backplane assembly. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.